a valiant defense, but this city must be raised. I will fulfill Malagos' wishes myself! Hi, how are you? Hope everything will be fine. I pray that you are always healthy and make it easier to carry out all daily activities. Today's topic is about how to get as many ruined orbs as possible and where to get them. You have to take the daily quest first at this handsome NPC. We call it Archmage Land Dalek. For each day, the dungeon will be different or the same. Like this week, mostly in Violet Hold. Just like in Raid, Dungeon Heroic Plus has its own difficult. Before that, help your party click the orb after the dungeon entrance. Should five people click after that, Heroic Plus will open. Before continuing, it's a good idea to listen to this first. There are a number of things that need to be considered when you enter Heroic Plus. Like some of these dungeons, in Violet Hold Heroic Plus there are some additional mechanics, such as shadows on mobs, and someone has to be in charge of killing them like hunters, lich, or other long-range heroes. The next example is an Utgard Keep, almost the same as Violet Hold. Utgard Keep also has mechanical additions, such as ice stacks which are so fast, you just need to avoid it as fast as possible by just moving until the ice disappears. And sometimes, you will also get double ice. After knowing that there are additional mechanics, the last thing to pay attention to is the gear. I really don't recommend that you enter here if your gear is still green or blue. So all you need to do is look for purple gear first. You can do Nax 10 or Nax 25, which people don't even need them anymore, so you can take advantage of them. Okay, so what are we going to get from Heroic Plus? The first is all the gear that will be disenchant. As discussed before, if all parties already have purple gear, all the drops will no longer be needed. So all parties will be greedy, and the lucky ones will get it. We're going to the main topic. So you want to get a lot of ruined orbs? Make a lot of tunes, it will help you a lot. And this is the most effective method, plus it is the most relaxing method. For one tune you can do the daily one time and get as many as five badges. And badges can be exchanged when you already have 18 badges. So, suppose you have 10 tunes. You will get about 20 ruined orbs in a little over a week. Just a little extra. Because many people don't understand the location of their NPC. And I'd be happy to provide an example as well. First thing you have to do is... Take the loot after the last boss is killed. Yes because that is the daily quest. A little extra also in the middle of this. If you are not an enchanter, you can ask for help from your party who can be disenchant. After that, return to the handsome NPC at the beginning of the video earlier. Exchange your quest, and you will get gold and badges. I am honored. Good luck, friend. Be careful. Till next week. I'll also show you where to exchange badges, but sorry in advance. I can only give an example for the Horde. I've never played Alliance before. I'm sorry. NPC is Magister Serene. He's You're not too handsome. But he always accepts your badge in exchange for ruined orbs. Oh yeah, one more addition. Yesterday I suggested farming herbs only in the morning. The for heroic dungeons you have to play at peak hours. Aim to be able to get a spot quickly. Thanks for coming back and welcome to those who have just come to this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. From your support, I can be more enthusiastic.